What's going on guys? So this video we're going to check on the fish in the pond. It's completely covered in duckweed. I can't see the fish and there should be guppies in here. So I want to show you how I'm going to go about cleaning all this duckweed. Look at all that. Let's get at least some of that out of the way so we can see if there's fish. This is a green water pond so any fish that we're going to see has to be at the surface and having that much duckweed doesn't help. So let's uh Let's do something about it. All right, guys, so the pond is covered. I think you guys can agree with that. And there's actually a really easy way to clear some of this duckweed out. I could grab a net and try to do this manually. But the easiest way, and the reason I leave this like this is because it helps with evaporation. It's been in the high 90s here. I think they said today was 98. And you can see the, the water level goes up and down. It helps with evaporation. also helps with keeping the water cooler. Um, and the, the reason you would think evaporation, you would get some cooling effect from that. I'm sure you do, but the thing is, uh, it blocks the sun from heating up the bottom of this pool. This water is probably only 18 to 20 inches deep. Um, so keeping it shaded, that's what this wood's for. This wood, this random wood that you think is just sitting here for no reason is actually to provide shade in the corners during the day. Uh, when there's no duckweed, you can see the fish kind of sit in the shade. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, yeah, so it's it's really there to help. It helps keep the water cooler. Also, you know, it's removing nitrates and everything. But um, let's see if we can see any fit up. Something just swam right up. I don't think I got that on video, but let's see. Probably just scared wherever that was. <clears throat> but the easiest way to get rid of some of this duckweed, that black little hole right there. That's the overflow. The water gets up above that, it drains out the back. So, oh, there's a ton of fry. I'll come back fry. I saw probably 10 fry swim by right there. So what we're gonna do is turn the water hose on and start adding water to the pond. It's going to overflow and the duckweed being that's floating goes out the overflow. Now there is a right way and a wrong way to do this. I could crank the water on, but the problem is if the water fills up the pond too quickly the water level will go above that drain hole because it can't drain out as quickly as I can put water in. And duckweed is always on top, so it'll never go out the, the hole. The other thing is, if it's going out too quickly, there was a fry again. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's a, there's a male guppy. Come on, focus. All right, so they're coming around. So there's definitely fish in here. Um, but anyways, Fry sit at the top of the water, it seems like a lot. So if I go too quickly, they can get sucked out the back. So we're gonna make sure we go just quick enough to get it going, but not quick enough to lose fry. Over here's the garden hose. I just leave it like that. It's under this wood. The wood just kind of holds it there, keeps it from popping out. We're just gonna go turn on this spigot. Oh, there's a couple males. As soon as they walked away. Oh, guys, they're all, they're all right here. No, oh, I'm sure there's a ton. All right, you can tell, since they're all coming to the surface, you can tell that they, they want to get rid of some of this duckweed too. Let's go ahead and turn this water on, let it get going.
so I lost <laughs> lost the sun over the back of the house but with the duck we cleared out there's got to be thousands of guppies in here uh, I know it's gonna be extremely hard to see with uh, the reflection uh, but yeah there's there's tons there's fry everywhere Um, just some specs on this pond. It's 500 gallons. It's, I think, uh, five or six feet long by four feet wide, if I remember right. Maybe it's five feet wide by six feet long. Oh my gosh, they're even coming out more now. Look at this. I know, guys, it's going to be really hard, but, like, everywhere I look, there's guppies. Whether it's adults or fry or juveniles, they're everywhere. So this is kind of, like, the left side of the pond. If we go over here, you'll just see more and more. So what's the quickest way to get guppies for if you're breeding for profit? Get an outdoor pond. And this was, I think I bought this for maybe a hundred bucks, somewhere around there. It's, you know, it's, this is not what it's made for, but this is my second year with this pond. And it's just doing really, really great. I see the pile of duckweed that's overflowed from it. All right, guys, that's like just a quick update. I just want to show that doing an outdoor pond is it's freaking awesome. You get thousands of guppies uh, in the matter of just a couple months, uh, bringing, I'll say like a dozen adults out here. <laughs> There's thousands, thousands and thousands of guppies in here. Um, and one of the questions I get asked a lot is how often do I feed the pond? Um, because everybody knows that outdoor ponds, you have a lot of microfauna, uh, mosquito larvae and things like that that the fish are going to eat um, so the question is how often and what do I feed um, so I guess what I do feed is tetracolor tropical granules that's pretty much why I feed all my fish tanks uh, I love it the most because the granules they're very dry and you can crush them in your fingers very easily so if you got small fish like fry you can crush it up really small if you got bigger fish you can just leave it as is um, and the price for a jar of it or a can, whatever you want to call it, is fairly cheap for the amount of food you get. So that's, that's what I use in all my tanks. Now, how often do I feed this pond? I can't tell you the last time I've actually added fish food to this pond. Um, when I first put the fish out here, I was feeding them uh, maybe every few days. And then it just kind of became one of those things where a natural pond, and even though it doesn't look natural, it's a, it's a pool, uh, but there is, duckweed in there there's some pearl weed I think I threw some Christmas moss in there there is some Amazon swords in there uh, it's just all natural so they're eating whoever's naturally in the water source so 
with the duckweed, as duckweed dies, it's creating substance for microfauna, those little microbugs in the water uh, to eat. And that creates a boom in the, the micro food chain that the fish eat. Um, so I haven't, I'm trying to think of the last time I fed this and I'm just looking, I see Charlotte, I was hoping she wasn't going like poop on camera and photobomb me, but uh, I think she's just moseying around. Anyways, um, I can't think of the last time I fed this, this pond. It's been at least a month since I added fish food and there's so many fry in here. They're doing great. So the next step in doing a pond, if you're doing it for uh, just to keep fish or if you're doing it for a profit, uh, the next thing you do is take a net and try to catch some of these fish out. And really, it's not that difficult. There's so many, so many guppies in this pond that you can just take a decent sized net. I use a 12 inch square net and you can basically just skim right through it and catch a bunch of fish. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. And then from there, you have to like, you know, kind of pick out the fry versus adults or wherever you're trying to sell. So, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching. And I'll try to update you more on some other stuff. I have a second pond. I don't think I've shown on my channel yet. Flip you around. It's right here. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.